What's on YouTube? Arvind here back with another video today and today's video I'll be showing you how to download and install the Oxygen OS latest version and I just opened Google Chrome just type downloads.oneplus.net just scroll down and choose your device I'll be using OnePlus 3D but the method for OnePlus 3 will also be the same. So I'll just open OnePlus 3 as well. As you can see for OnePlus 3D the latest version is Open Beta 4 and for OnePlus 3 the latest version is Open Beta 13. Both the, uh, both the ROMs are same so you can download them according to your device. I have OnePlus 3D so I'll just click on continue to download. Then it will show you some flashing instructions. Uh, I'll show you how to flash it. So just scroll down and click on download. So as you can see, it's a 1.35 GB file. I already downloaded the file, so I won't download it. But this is how you guys can download the file to install on your device. So. Once you have downloaded the file, like I have it here, this is the file, just copy this file to your OnePlus 3G device and then we'll continue to install it on that new, on OnePlus 3G. So once you are done with copying the ROM in your device, then the thing that you need to do is just take your device and just power it off. just touch to power off this is oneplus 3t 128 gb model but you can also do uh, the same procedure with oneplus 3 as well and i already showed you that in the previous part of this video so once your device uh, turns off completely wait let me just remove this cover so let me just zoom in a little bit and as you can see this is the side of the phone and there's the power button so just press the power button and the volume down button Once your device vibrates, just leave the power button and continue to press the volume down button. Let me just zoom in. As you can see now there are three languages options. I'll just select English. Then just go to wipe data and cache. Just click on reset system settings click on yes one thing to note is that it will delete all the data that is present in your device so it's advisable to take backup of your data before trying to do this and I'll also make another video on how to backup your data so stay tuned for that video just click on done now just go to install from internal storage and locate to the file where you have copied it in my case i copied it in the root folder and as you can see the first file is oneplus 3d oxygen 28 which was which i just downloaded it on, uh, on my cpu so i'll just click on that file it says installing package yes or no just click on yes and now i hope you are able to see it says updating please wait so this installation procedure will take some time it depends on the current status of your device like how what is the temperature of your device and its cpu and its functioning and it basically depends on a lot of factors as you can see it's installing very fastly uh, by the time it installs i would like to make a note of this thing that weeks ago i installed oxygen os open beta 
free on my device but I was not satisfied by its performance so that's why I am, I am willing to try this one out and if this one performs nice so I'll make a review of this ROM and the review may be uploaded in the next week by the time I was talking with you another pop-up game installed success and now I'll just click on reboot so now the device will reboot and it's the first boot after installing the ROM so it will take some time by the time I'll continue my talk actually the what the thing is that reviewing these ROMs which are not yet released like this is an open beta ROM and these ROMs like the ROMs that OnePlus launched after 4.0.3 which was based on Nougat 7.0 because in that ROM the battery backup was really horrible and I expect to ha I expect from this room to have a decent battery backup and I'll also let you know that in the review video so as you can see it says welcome I just click on let, let me zoom in first I'll just click on let's go it's showing my mobile number but if you guys will try to call it it won't I won't answer it because it's my GSM and I personally don't use it and I'll just click on setup as new I'll quick, quickly connect this to my Wi-Fi and I'll get back to you By the way, I connected it to my temporary Wi-Fi. The speed at my house is 25 MBs per second. And it says the device was reset to continue sign in with a Google account that was previously synced on this device. So I'll just quickly sign in with the Google account and I'll get back to you. and I am done with entering my ID and password and now another pop-up came that is asking me to uh, uh, like if I want to add this account to my device I'll just click on yes getting account info I'm not sure if this update is also released for OnePlus 2 and if it is released then you are go uh, then you will be getting the video very soon I'll just click on skip skip anyway Google services I'll just accept them by clicking on next it's now checking and says put Google to work you just zoom out I'll click on continue and I'll just click on yes I'm in I'll just click on all set and now it's adding some finishing touches let me zoom out and I'm not seeing any app drawer I don't know how uh, there's a swipe up arrow if you guys are able to see let me just focus on that I hope you are able to see that swipe up arrow and I'll just click on that whoa let me just zoom out and show you again so now from now onwards in order to go to app draw you just need to swipe it like this and it's actually like the pixel launcher like if you have a pixel device or if you use a pixel device then you might be familiar with this because I think oneplus is trying to copy pixel launcher but that's okay I'll just quickly check for Android versions 
battery is 50% and it says one hour remaining I am not sure whether this is going to increase or not but as of now it's showing only one hour I'll just go to about phone and as you can see Android security patch level has been upgraded to 1 1st March 2017 and the Android version is 7.1.1 which is latest no gut 7 latest version actually so that's it guys this was geeky Rent installing latest oxygen OS on my oneplus 3t and a review of the same will be coming very soon on my channel so stay tuned for that video and if you like this video then do hit the like button it should look like this yes and if you disliked it then don't be shy to press the dislike button do let me know your suggestions in the comment box below and i'll definitely try to try to improve the quality of my content and if you want more videos from me then do subscribe to geeky event and if you are a oneplus lover then yes i am also a oneplus lover and most of the videos that you will see on my channel will be regarding oneplus i have oneplus 3t and oneplus 2 and that's it for this video now do share this video with other oneplus 3t users as well and do like comment and subscribe uh, by the time this is Kiki Arendt si signing off and I'll catch you in the next video. Till then do remember to surf before you swipe and if you don't need you don't buy. By the way guys all the best buy links like below will be like always will be there in the description so do check the description out. This is Kiki Arendt signing off and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.